Oh, <laughs> we had a great time. Ah, come on, why are you looking like that? Ah, cheer up. Huh? And tidy the place. Hmm? have I done? Oh Jesus, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Lord. I feel so filthy right now. Like, what have I done? Jesus, forgive me. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm so sorry. I feel so dirty right now. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, I come to you this moment. Oh, Jesus! You are praying. Come. You see, dirty girl, you can still open your mouth to pray. Didn't you read your Bible in Psalms 24, verse 4? Who shall ascend unto the fields of the Most High? He that has a clean hands and a pure heart. Your hands are dirty. Your heart is disgusting and you are praying. But we not hear you. What we not hear you? You are wasting your time. Dirty girl. It's true. I'm filthy. Dirty girl. I'm dirty. I don't think God can hear me like this. Hey, God. <laughs> my God, pray. But I can't even study my Bible. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Brenda, hmm? I have a terrible headache. Are you serious? Since mm -hmm. that time? Yes, no. Uh -uh. Can you just say a word of prayer? Of course I can pray for you. And this head is supposed to go on. I don't tire. Okay, let's pray. Mm -hmm. You want to pray? You dirty girl. What more do you want to use to pray? Eh? What's wrong with you? Have you forgotten your past? I better forget prayer. You can't pray. No power. You don't have power. You can't eat the sick. Nothing good can come out of your life anymore. God has forgotten you. No, Bertin, don't worry. I don't think you need prayers. Right now, you need Panadol. Because you've been complaining about these things since morning. Don't worry, just go and take Panadol. You don't need tea. Let me continue what I'm doing. Brenda, pray see, for me now. You don't, You're my pastor. I know. See, you have to take Panadol. Panadol will cure this thing sharp, sharp. You don't need, you don't need prayers right now, eh? Let me continue with what I'm doing. Don't worry, I'll be praying for you in my mind. Let me just continue work. Okay. Psalm 96. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless Hey! You. Stop! You fornicator. Dirty girl. You are singing to the Lord. Reading your Bible. Ain't you ashamed? Do you not know condemn you are? You don't do enough to be reading scripture. You have forgotten your past so soon. You are dirty. You are so filthy. You are not ashamed. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I'm so tired. God, please forgive me. I know that I've done something wrong. I committed that sin. I have not known peace. The devil keeps tormenting me. I cannot pray. I cannot study. Like, my life is just on hold. I don't even know what to do anymore. It's okay. Listen, Brenda. Listen. Forgiveness is not about what you did. From the day you asked God for forgiveness, He forgave you. Your salvation is not about what you did. It's about what Christ has done for you. Romans 8 verse 1 says, For there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk after the Spirit, not after the flesh. So relax. But Pastor, despite the fact that I ask for forgiveness, I don't feel like I have been forgiven. I feel very, very filthy. Brenda, <laughs> forgiveness is not a feeling. Is annoying. Ephesians 1 verse 7 says, Since we are now joined to Christ, 
We have been given the treasures of redemption by his blood, the total cancellation of our sins, all because of the cascading riches of his grace. Look at that. Look at that. God has forgiven your sins. Wow. It's just the devil playing with your mind. When the devil comes to you to remind you of your past, tell him what Jesus has done already for you. Mm -hmm. See, you still have Jesus. You don't have less of him. So you can heal the sick. You can pray. You can study your Bible. You can do all things because you have Christ on your inside. So go with that boldness. Victory is yours. Thank you, Mom. Shatakapa, eratapa, lepra no sotopalai. Oh, Jesus, I come before you this morning. Fornicator, just still put your mouth to pray. What's wrong with you? Have you forgotten your past? Well, that's old news now. Now, let me tell you the good news. Hebrew 4 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Now I come boldly in the name of Jesus. Which boldly are you coming to in the name of Jesus? What are you saying? John 9 31 made it clear that God heareth not sinners. You are a sinner. The Bible says in Romans 5 8 that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Even if he died for you, can God see you? Habakkuk 1 verse 13, it says, God is of a purer heart than to behold iniquity. Mm. Oh, be a sinner. Yes, I was a sinner, but Christ has died for sinners. And yes, I was guilty, but Christ's blood covered my sins. And yes, I deserve condemnation, but Christ was condemned in my place. How did you know this truth? How did you know this truth? You're filthy, you're dirty, God cannot hear you. God cannot hear you. Romans 8, 33 to 34 says, Who dares accuse us who God has chosen for his own? No one. For God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ died for us and he has raised us to himself. And he's sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand. Bring it for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Get you behind me, Satan. I come boldly before the throne of grace. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I have the right standing with God. Hey, thank you, Jesus, for this victory. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, family, thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our, our video. video. Yeah, do well to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Instagram at The Windows for more videos. Yeah. You want to make a donation or you want to support our ministry, the account details are on the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much. God, God bless, bless you. you. Bye. Bye.